I think that is an old age um, debate that has been going on. But as a lawyer, the key things I would look at is whether that piece of work is in the public interest or you're just simply evading um, somebody's privacy. So yes, um, I need not say, I mean, I don't have to argue for undercover because it's the same undercover that you see on CNN, BBC and everywhere. Whatever you see here is the same people who do it across the world. So I don't have to talk about the legality or illegality of undercover journalism. But the key principle is whether that piece of information that you have picked is in the public interest or not. And even if you, you are brought before the court, one of the issues that would be looked at is whether you just disregarded everything and you went for somebody's privacy. So far, the works I have done have ended up being at the National Media Commission once, and we won. We've also had legal issues the whole of last two years, the judges. You remember, we had a lot of legal issues where people talked about invasion of privacy, to be hooded or not to be hooded, and in the Supreme Court, we prevailed. So yes, indeed, there's nothing unethical about what we're doing. It doesn't mean that people don't have the right to to criticize and to feel that their privacy has been invaded. It's, they have their rights, but that's why we have the court of law. Whenever they think that those rights have been trampled upon, they are always welcome to go to court. We are always open, we'll be there, and we'll answer the questions.